who is responsible for providing information about your health. Now, uh, insurance companies provide um, the cover, but they also put the onus on you. So you have what's called a duty of disclosure. Now, what that duty asks you to do is tell them the truth. Tell them everything that you know that's pertinent to an application so that they can make a, a relevant assessment or an appropriate assessment on your uh, application itself. So um, some people ask me, isn't it up to the insurance company? Can't they just check that? Can't they write to Medicare? Can't they do all these sort of things? Um, the answer to that is they could, but what they do is they put that duty disclosure on you and they will write to Medicare if you do ever claim. So what they'll do is they'll write to Medicare, they'll get a list of everything that happened up to five years before your application and they'll cross-reference that with what you said. Now, the issue with that isn't so much if you forgot to let them know that you went and got some antibiotics for a cold or flu or that sort of thing. It's more if you forgot to leave out relevant information. And relevant information for most people are things um, that sometimes slip through. So things that often slip through are visits to a chiropractor, a physio, an osteo, that sort of thing that people don't see as being hugely relevant. But those things are really, really important to put down. Um, other things are previous medical history. Um, so things that have happened, all that sort of thing too. And I know this is sometimes not that easy to remember, um, but it is really important to give some thought to this before going into completing any applications just to again avoid headaches if in the event of a claim you just don't want to have that being the time that you find out that potentially you weren't covered for what you thought that you were.